Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to express my concern on Bill on 20, S23 and 33. Um, I represent the Haitian community of Rhode Island. We have over 10,000 Haitian immigrants. And Rhode Island is a small state with cultural area. It's a beautiful state with a lot of immigrant history. Um, speaking from my father, my father came here undocumented. And um, hearing his struggle, working $2 and three, uh, uh, $3 an hour. It was not an hour, like $3. I believe he, according to his story, like he was getting paid like every day $30. So he had to go to, he had to move to Florida. It was very struggle for him while working at the factories. Some of those folks was making story, I mean, making fun of him. They was like, oh, we have immigrations uh, uh, um, out, outside looking for you. So he has to climb some, some of them, they have to hide on the boxes. Some of them, it was very struggle. It was very challenges for him. And here's the main one now. He brought us here. I came here in 2000 and I was able to go to high school, to Central High School. I graduated from Central High School. From Central High School, I worked my way up going to CCI, from CCI, and get accepted to R.J. Williams, get my bachelor's from CCI, um, R.J. Williams. I just complete my master's degree in public administration from R.J. Williams. And um, my father, we have like six brothers, two of them now. One of them is a, is a uh, publisher. And we have another one working at Washington, D.C. He's the man who was struggle, hiding in the backs. People was calling on, was calling immig immigration for him. So now for me to sit here to be part as immigrant with a master's degree from Roger Williams, it is a great achievement. Um, now, I also... I'm also um, a community organizer for the Haitian community in Rhode Island. And last, no, two weeks ago, I held um, a, a, a workshop on immigration and citizenship with DOCAS International. And we had, um, we had um, a, 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 a one of the lawyers from DOCAS and we, where we invited all the Haitian communities and just to come to listen about I mean, like just for DOCAS to educate them about the immigration process, what's the, how long the process take, how to get the papers. Hearing the story, how they were struggling about uh, uh, um, not having the paper, not having a, a license. And some of them, they wanted to go to work. Some of them, they have kids. They want their kids to go to school. And they don't have any document paper. So it was very struggle for my community. Not only my community, so I, I highlighted my father's story and then with the Haitian community, with all the Haitian communities, issues. And I believe that America is a country of immigrants. We all deserve a fair shot. And not only I support this bill, but I also see a beauty, I see a future and this bill, and if you guys pass the bill, not only it will make a big difference in the country, but it also will make a big difference in us life as immigrants. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Metz? Well, you know, uh, uh me being a central alumnus and a graduate alumnus, you know I'm glad to see you. Thank you. Because I, because I thought I recognized you when I saw you in the hall there. So uh, we're very proud of you. Keep up the good work for community. And so you, you, we certainly appreciate your service on behalf of our country and the, the tours and that you did in the military. So we, we appreciate you. Thank you. Just briefly, I want to thank you for your service at three tours. It, that's uh, remarkable. So God bless you for that and your passion for helping people. Um, I went to my undergrad with a friend who uh, came here from Haiti 
and uh, graduated from American uh, with over a 4.0 in mathematics, uh, raised three kids, and then he went to UMass med school at night at 35, non-matriculating, graduated valedictorian, and now he's a surgeon at Bethesda Naval Hospital. He's brilliant, great friend. Um, but he didn't. He was born in Haiti when he came here. And uh, anyway, and that uh, that country's got its challenges. We all do. But he tell me stories. So, anyways, your family has to be proud of you. So, you know, I appreciate your testimony.